The second round of district play is upon us in 28-6A, and what better way to kick things off than a rematch between 8-0 Clark and 7-1 Reagan at Littleton Gym. The first meeting between these two went down to the wire back in August, with the Cougars pulling out a five-set win, and Tuesday night's rematch was no different. We picked this one up with a match tied at one set apiece and deadlocked at 10 all in the third. Off the quick set, Ariana Robertson brings the hammer down, and the Cougars lead 12-10. Reagan answers right back. Aaron Jones gets the push shot to fall along the sideline. Rattlers pull back within a point, 17-16. That's when we get one of the craziest rallies of the season. Let's listen in. court for that point and Giselle Oriana finished it off. Timeout Reagan, Clark leads 18-16 and they carry that momentum for the rest of the set. First, Natalia Silva gets up for the huge block. 21-17 Cougars. Then on set point, Robertson has final say with a thunderous spike. Clark takes it 25-21 and moves within a set of a huge district win. As the two teams switch sides, Reagan regroups and they start the fourth set on fire. Check out the shot here from Maya Allen. An incredible sharp angle kill puts the Rattlers up six to two. Of course, Clark answers right back. Silva with a great diving dig keeps it alive and Caitlin Whitlock smokes a cross court kill of her own. And just like that, the Cougars take control of the match and vault back in front by two points. Reagan, not done. Gabby Reeves to Anaya Hall with authority right through a pair of blocks. And we're all tied up again at 14. So again, we reach a breaking point. Let's listen in on another long rally. has final say on that one, and the Cougars finally find some separation. Whitlock, again, off the block and down in midcourt. Clark has a three-point lead now, up 19-16. But just when it looks like they're going to pull away for good, Reagan returns fire. Hall, again, right through the heart of the defense. 21-20 Rattlers. Then a few plays later, Allen strikes again with a perfect spike down the line. That makes it 23-21 Reagan. And with the match on the line, the Rattler defense comes up big. Allen and Katie Hill combined for not one, but two huge blocks to seal the set, 25-22. And for the second time this season, the Rattlers and Cougars are going by. Both teams switch sides, and the fifth set ends up just as tight as the last two. Silva again with another big time block. That makes it five to three, Clark. Here comes Reagan again. Diving dig from Allen eventually sets up Jones, who goes off speed and it drops in on the other side of the net. Just like that, we're all tied up at six. Neither team giving an inch in this one with the match hanging in the balance. Let's listen in again for the third time tonight.
huge point for Robertson gives the Cougars a two-point lead. And a few plays later, she strikes again with another shot to the back line for another point. That makes it 11-7 Clark. Reagan not going away quietly. Allen again off the block and out. A quick 2-0 run cuts the deficit in half. But just like she did in the first meeting between these two teams, Whitlock comes up big down the stretch with back-to-back -back kills, including this push shot down the line. They can feel it now. Match point Cougars up 14 to 10. You know how the saying goes by now. Elise Miller in the right place in the right time. Clark takes control of 28-6A with a 3-2 victory over the Reagan Rattlers. They have swept the season series and are 9-0 in district play. They're just two really good teams. Um, I think keeping the intensity level up is always good. Um, they're a really great team. They have really great hitters. And it gives us like a little booster because we've already got them out the way. Now we just have the next um, challenges ahead of us, and we just got to look for that. I feel like our team chemistry is so good, and these girls really hype each other up. We help each other. And I feel like we're really good at just like adjusting. And if we're not doing our greatest in the first set, we're able to just adjust and listen to what our coach is telling us to fix. Next up, Clark will take on Marshall Friday night at 7 p.m. Hard to follow that matchup up, but that's what Madison and Churchill do. Second meeting between these two teams. Mavs won three sets to one in the first meeting, and they're on cruise control in the first set tonight. Dalen Mendeville serves up the second of back-to-back -back aces, and Madison leads 16 to six. Offense stays hot. Georgia Pimanari sends a spike to the back line for a kill. That makes it 18 to six. And then how about Zariah McFadden smoking a spike right down the middle. The first set is all but wrapped up for the Mavs here, but the Chargers are still hanging tough. Check out the body control from Sakari McNeil getting the ball back over the net for the point. That was impressive, but the Mavericks go on to take this set 25 to 10 and sweep the Chargers three sets to none. Last stop of the night over at Paul Taylor Fieldhouse District 29-6A. Good matchup between 7-1 Harlan and 5-3 Brennan. Bears trying to battle back late in the first set. Gianna Brown sends that one back, and Brennan trails by six, but the Hawks return fire. Anaya Joseph with a thunderous spike. She's got some power. Harlan leads 23-16. Next up, defense gets on the board. Demaya Mann says no. An emphatic block is the exclamation point to a 25-16 set win for Harlan. After switching sides, Brennan starts the second set strong. Amanda Ventura serves up an ace for an early 4-2 lead, but the Hawks answer right back. Man, off the block and out. Harlan goes on to sweep the Bears, 25-16, 25-17, 29-27. We got a lot more highlights from volleyball and water polo on the big game coverage page at ksat.com. Just click on the fall sports tile to see all the action.